So you know how I'm kind of into the Arizona flag and I had originally made that round Lazy Susan that was much smaller. I just simply made that a little bit bigger and this is a three foot by five foot Arizona flag. It's an inch and a half thick. This is the door to my outdoor TV cabinet. It's pretty heavy, but I've got these gas shocks. They were kind of interesting to learn how to mount and voila, there we have it, our outdoor TV cabinet. So let's see how we built this. So the first thing I do is I trace it all out on a quarter inch sheet of MDF that's vinyl coated. This is what it looks like when it's all done. I make all my parts out of a white wood, kind of cheap wood you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Sort of resembles pallet wood. Gives you a real rustic look and feel. First thing I traced out or cut was the star. Originally, I thought I'd do all the parts all at one time, but I figured that wasn't a good idea, so I started with the blue field first, or actually second. Then I explained how I've got everything laying out so the grain all comes in one direction and looks like the sun rays. Using double stick tape, stuck it down and cut it out. So you know what I really like is when I have to do something over again. I hit something, my A axis slipped or something, this thing went out of square. I was only able to cut four parts that were correct. I had to rebuild a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna start it again. This time we've got four parts that are already done. So now we only have to do, I think it's like nine. So loaded it up and started over again. After all the parts were cut out, I just cleaned up all the glue joints, a little wire wheel, maintained that rustic look. Then did a dry fit, and believe it or not, it fit. So while it was in pieces, I painted the blue parts blue, red parts red, and yellow parts yellow. The star is going to be a little bit different color, so it got two coats of two different kinds of stain. Hardest part of this build was trying to figure out how to put it together. I did lay out marks with tape, use biscuits to put it together, clamps. It was tedious. I finally settled on using pocket screws to hold it together because some of the angles were tough to clamp. It, it was just a long, exhaustive process, but it took a while and we finally got it together. Funny thing about wood, you can lay it out and it's perfect, but after you glue it all together, you can come up short. So I made a new piece. And it was custom fit to fit right in that space. I surfaced the back so the whole thing was flat because I need to put a piece of plywood on this to make it more stable and not come apart at all the joints. To say that was a sawdust maker would be the understatement of the year. No more surfacing anything until I get a boot for my dust collector. But anyhow, this thing is pretty smooth. It's pretty nice and flat. We'll go ahead and glue it up to that back. So I glued up a piece of three quarter and I left it back just a little bit on the edges so that I could replicate the edges to look just like the face. I did this by screwing a long piece and then putting these little blocks on the edge and then went ahead and cut the thing all out to dimension. Some polyurethane on the front and some polyurethane on the back and on the inside of the cabinet box. 
When I originally put this together, I didn't show you how I mounted this on here. Took it out, mounted it in the yard on my wall. And the hinges originally on these ends were closer in. And the stress of the shocks actually pushed and flared this up and got it out of square. So I brought it back in, laying down like I did originally, laid it flat, mounted these hinges all the way out on the end so that they would support it with the stress from the gas shocks, and then put another hinge here and one here instead of one just in the center. So that should support it so this top piece doesn't flex. Additionally, when I mounted the rods inside, they're just done with some just Phillips screws uh, that didn't go all the way through and the stress was so much it actually blew one of these out on the side so luckily I keep a bunch of my stuff and all my hardware and I had these laying around and of that perfect so I'm going to put those in there and that's going to hold the brackets for the gas shocks. There it is mounted on my outdoor patio. So don't forget give us a thumbs up and a like Subscribe, watch all the videos, and we'll see you real soon.